at this hour on Vion, where four of the 12 Thai schoolboys were rescued from a flooded cave on Sunday in what was dubbed as a daring and an extremely a complicated operation to save the kids and also their soccer coach who have been trapped underground for more than two weeks now. 13 foreign divers and five members of Thailand's elite Navy SEAL units guided the boys to safety through narrow submerged passageways. The 12 young boys of the soccer team and also their coach had been trapped for more than two weeks in a cave complex in the Chiang Rai province. The authorities in northern Chiang Rai province began the dangerous mission to bring out the 12 boys and also their coach earlier in the day. Now, the operation to rescue the remaining eight boys and the coach was called off at, the, at nightfall to give the divers some time to rest and to replenish the oxygen supplies and ensure that all preparations were in order. And also the locals applauded and cheered as the ambulances carrying the rescued boys left the old Chiang Rai airport to the hospital. All right, now for more on this, we are joined in by our correspondent Siddharth very closely for us. Now Siddharth, this is one of the most complicated operations which these divers have embarked upon. They've managed to rescue four children, now eight more children and also the football coach are still trapped inside of the cave. What is the latest that is happening there? Well, monsoon is a battle against uh, the water, water coming into the caves. Uh, but today, as of now, the rescue operation has started. It will start as the day progresses. It's uh, almost 12, uh, 12, 10 here in uh, Chiang Rai, where I am standing, and the caves are just nearby. Media has been asked to not go to that area because that uh, uh, authorities fear will hinder the entire process of uh, rescuing uh, the, 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 the teenage boys who are stuck in uh, that cave, uh, rest of the boys are in a hostel, uh, hotel. Uh, 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 they are in a hospital, basically. I'm standing near a hotel, uh, and the hotel is just nearby that hospital. And a uh, lot of media is present there. In the uh, hospital, the focus is to make sure the physical damage and the mental damage which has been uh, done to, uh, to the, to the uh, boys who were stuck in the cave for a, such a long time, that has to uh, uh, recover fast. And that is why both uh, the doctors are... Uh, are trying the level best and uh, trying to focus on on their mental health as well. Even the parents are not allowed to meet uh, the the boys who were saved yesterday. And these are boys who were uh, healthy also uh, in a sense. They were much more healthier than the rest of the boys. Now it's more dangerous because these are the boys who are still stuck are in more uh, precarious situation. They are more in a delicate situation. The focus mm -hmm. now is trying to uh, recover those uh, uh, boys who are stuck uh, before the monsoon showers flood uh, the cave and make the entire procedure more dangerous. Absolutely indeed, Siddharth. Uh, uh, the heavy monsoon uh, showers that are expected, uh, we are in the city uh, for last uh, uh, few hours and the humidity level in the city is extremely high. Uh, the monsoon showers can anytime break and, and cause the flooding. The media is not allowed to that uh, portion because uh, they don't want to hinder the entire uh, uh, process of uh, uh, rescuing the mission. So that is why now the authorities are trying to coordinate uh, in a very uh, strategic manner so that uh, uh, the, uh, the final outcome is known to the media through a press conference. You are not allowed to go to the cave. You are not allowed to go to the hospital as well. The, the, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, uh, eighth floor of the hospital is completely sealed. People, of course, are waiting outside. It's a big media uh, event here because internationally it's a big uh, global story the hope the determination a uh, global media has descended here people from far off places like denmark from from australia we met an australian crew in the morning while we were coming uh, on a flight from bangkok to this place uh, Chiang Rai city, which has, uh, of course, uh, become an international center for uh, international uh, uh